Well, good evening, good evening, good evening, and this is the Minister Emil Kimball coming to you live this evening, and I wanted to give you guys a quick little tutorial, not a tutorial, but a little study on Valentine's Day and why you as a believer should not partake in any type of celebration concerning it. Now, listen, I know this is going to offend some of you guys. I know you're out trying to get things prepared for you, boo, and this and that and the other, but listen, you do not have to have a specific day to celebrate the love of your life. So the reality is this is another scam that they gave us. And then us church people, people that claim that they're following the most high. Well, the reality is you are involved in another yet scam. And I'm never going to sit here and play with you. When I come to these messages, I come to you with what the Bible says. And we look at what the Bible says and we look at the facts and we study it out. So if you're offended by what's going to happen here, I don't care. There was somebody needs to stand up and teach the Bible the way it's supposed to be taught. And somebody needs to stand up and say what's right and what's wrong. And if you're offended, take it up with the most high. So I'm going to share my screen tonight. And we're going to start this thing off with the scripture, obviously, because we want to understand why are we talking about this particular um, uh, day? Jeremiah chapter 10, verse two says, Thus saith Yahuwah, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Now let's talk about who the heathen is here. We know that this book, at the one point, the Tanakh was talking to Israel. We also know that Israel is not just made up by heritage. Israel is made up by those who obey his commandments, as well as heritage. That gives you Israel. So anybody that did not fall within the the, uh, uh, the 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 categories of what I just mentioned, they were considered a heathen. And with the heathens came heathen celebrations, pagan celebrations, pagan sacrifices, and things that the Most High Yah was totally against. You don't think Valentine's Day is demonic? Well, then I'm going to show you some history on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day started off as a holiday and a celebration called Lupercalia. And I went through this last year, but I'm going to go through it again with you. So that way, once again, you're going to have to sit there and explain to the most high or to me, like I'm a two-year-old, how you're claiming that you're following the most high and his will, but you're taking part in things like this. Lupercalia, also known as Lupercal was a pastoral festival of ancient Rome. So let's stop right there. This demonic celebration was actually a festival in honor of pastors. I don't know what you want to hear next, but we're going to continue. Observed annually from February 13th through 15th to purify the city, promoting health, and fertility. So once again, we're back to this fertility God worship. Lupercalia was also known as Dies Ferberis after the purification instruments called Februaria, the basis for the month named Februarius. So we know that the uh, Greek ridiculous scamified months names that they gave us is not biblical because here it is. The festival was originally known as Februa, purifications or purings, after the Februim, which was used on the day. It was also known as Februatus and gave its name variously as epithet to Juno Februalis, Februalis, or Februata, in her role as patron deity of that month, to, to a supposed purification deity called Februus. And to Februus, the month during which the festival occurred, O Abit connects Februa to an estrogen word for purging. The name Lupercalia was believed in antiquity to evince some connection with the ancient Greek festival of the Arcadian Lycia, a wolf festival, and the worship of the Lycian Pan, assumed to be a Greek equivalent to Faunus, as instituted by Evader Justin describes a cult image of the Lycian god, whom the Greeks call Pan and the Romans Lupercus, as nude save for a goat skin girdle. 
The statue stood in the Lupercal, the cave where traditions held that Romulus and Remus were suckled by the she-wolf's Lupa. The cave laid at the foot of the Palatine Hill on which Romulus was thought to have founded Rome. The name of the festival most likely derives from Lupus, wolf, though both the etymology and its significance are obscure. The wolf appellation may have to do with the fact that an animal predator plays a key role in male rites of passage. The spine just as searching, no deity named Lupercus has been identified. Now, we're going to look at the sacrifice. At the Lupercal altar, a male goat or goats and a dog were sacrificed by one or another of the Luperci under the supervision of the flaming Dealus, Jupiter's chief priest. An offering was also made of salted milk cakes prepared by the Vestal Virgins. After the blood sacrifice to Luperci approached the altar, their foreheads were anointed with blood from the sacrificial knife then wiped clean with wool, skull, soaked with mud, milk, after which they were expected to laugh. Excuse me one minute here. I'm going to continue this. The sacrificial feast followed, after which the Luperca cut thongs known as, feb known as febra from flayed skin of the animal and ran with these, naked or near naked along the old Palatine boundary in anti-clockwise direction around the hill in Plutarch's description of Lupercalia written during the early Rome Empire. Many of the noble youths and the magistrates run up and down the, through the city naked for sport and laughter, striking those they meet with shaggy thongs, and many women of rank also purposely get in their way and like children at school present their hands to be struck believing that the pregnant will thus be helped in delivery and the barren to pregnancy so this is all tied to valentine's day so you have to understand that when they come to you with these holidays and tell you that there's nothing wrong with it no there's nothing at all wrong with you celebrating your 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 the the, the person in your life that you have that you love there's nothing wrong with it Nobody is saying that you cannot celebrate somebody that you love. But when you look at these days and these holidays that they give you and tell you there's nothing wrong with it, you better look up the history and look up the ridiculousness of where they come from. Valentine's Day is a completely paganized, sacrificial blood day that had nothing to do with the Most High. And he did not want us to go after those ways. It's no different than Christmas, birthdays, and all of the other days that you want to sit here and say, oh, you're Muslim. No, I'm not Muslim. It's what the book says. How do I, why do I have to be considered Muslim? Because I'm deciding to obey and you're deciding to disobey. Don't give me that. Show me in the scripture where you can support a blood sacrificial day that had nothing to do with the Most High Yah. He just told us to not go after the ways after, uh, of the heathen. And I just broke down to you the ways of the heathen. This day is demonic and it had nothing to do with the most high. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying it. Doesn't matter if I offend you. Doesn't matter if I offend your mother, your brother, your uncle, your pastor. So what? You churches that are involved in it, you're involved in a scam. You need to get away from it. It should not be a celebration of any shape, form, or fashion for this day or month. Because the reality is, when you look up the history, the Most High said, stay away from it. If this was clearly about worship to another God, which we just covered, then why in the world would you want to be part of it? It's not biblical, and it is not of uh, the Most High, Yah, High, Yah, High Yah, Yahuwah, the Most High. He said, stay away from it. So it doesn't matter how you feel about it. That's what he said. I am the minister, Emil Kimball. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.